so this is a common like thing that people get wrong is that prison is a lot different than county jail. So when you think about prison, um, a lot of people are like, oh, were you in a cell and all that stuff? And, you know, I'm like, no, our, our cell was a room that we got to have a key to. So we got to turn off the light, turn on the light. We had a table. We had four lockers and two bunk beds in the room. And it's four people to one room. It's honestly a lot more comfortable because there are people that are never going home. And so that is their home. So they don't want to make it seem like, you know, what you see on TV with the bars and all that stuff. That's all county jail, which county jail sucks. Anybody could tell you that they would much rather go to prison and do prison time than do county time. Alright, I'm going to do like a little smoky eye. I know it looks kind of crazy right now. I can't see the screen, so bear with me. Okay. I would love to do makeup with Jeffree Star. I actually just watched a whole bunch of his videos on YouTube last night. Me and Christy were binge watching. <laughs> Let me tell you, if I could do my makeup half as good as them, oh, <laughs> I'd be doing fire. I'm still beginning. <laughs> I have seen a couple episodes of The Vampire Diaries. Um, it's really good. Like, I actually started watching it in prison. Um, because in prison we get, uh, look, this, my hair looks stupid whenever it points out like that. Um... We have the opportunity to like buy movies and TV shows at a cost. So like new releases is like ten dollars on a tablet, um, and it's just like Redbox or whatever where you get it. When once you hit play, it saves for forty eight hours and then it's gone. So it's only a rental. Um, and so Vampire Diaries was like a dollar fifty-two per episode. So I only got to like episode seven. <laughs> but now that I'm free, I can binge watch it. My si that was my sister's favorite show when she was growing up. Did she really like Grey's Anatomy after that? I don't know if it's too dark. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> My favorite meal in prison was chicken patty. It was like the only thing that honestly tasted halfway decent. Did I get into any fights? Hell no. I've never been in one fight in my entire life. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I got mouthy with a couple of girls and they deserved it. <laughs> Because they got mouthy with me first, so I wasn't just gonna be a pussy and curl up at a ball. No, I learned that I have a mouth on me and I can use it um, by standing up to a bully. Um, so I'm gonna tell you a little story about the first bully I ever had. So her name is Tasha Morton. She is in Chillicothe for first degree murder, and. She is a lifer. So basically we became roommates and she honestly just didn't like me from jump. And I tried, I tried, I tried to make it civil with her, but she kept doing things like trying to manipulate me and say things to me like, your family doesn't love you, your dad doesn't love you, nobody loves you. And like, she has this way about like getting in your head. Um, and then finally, like I was like, I need to move out of this room. I can't handle this lady. And so I moved out of her room, which originally was my room. She moved into my room first, but I, room, I moved. And ever since then, like she, she had got a hold of Ken's number 
and had other girls call him pretending to be like someone from the outside or whatever and it's like hey I got your number I heard that you're single and all while she knew that Ken was dating me and this is back in 2018 and so it pissed me off that she was passing around his number and basically just trying to get girls to fucking steal him away from me and then after that she did so much more shit too like she also set up one of my best friends and got her sent to the hole like it was a whole ordeal um so one day i was walking down this like little sidewalk and she was walking with one of her friends and she passes by me and she looks at her friend and says i hate her talking about me I hate her. I hate the way she breathes. I hate everything about her. And so I look at her and I'm like, hey, you got something to say to me? Just say it. Like, I don't like none of that side talk stuff. What What did I ever do to you to make you hate me so much? And she looks at me. She's like, bye, bitch. Go on. And that's whenever I stood up to her and I was like, bitch, I got your bitch, bitch. And I was like, you are not going to talk to me that way. Like, seriously, what did I ever do to you? And that's whenever, like, she and I actually, like, got face to face with each other. And her best friend had to come and, like, split us up because it was getting heated. But that is, like, the first time that I ever felt like I had a voice because this woman had been bullying me for years. And I was like, no more. No more. So, now... Now I know I'm a little smart ass mouth because I'm 32 freaking years old. I have a right to stand up for myself if somebody wants to talk shit to me. Now, now being as I am on parole right now, I can't do that. People got me by the short and curlies on that one. But best believe I won't always be on parole. And I believe in freedom of speech. As long as it doesn't turn violent, I believe that someone should say what they have on their mind to say. That's a right. That's a human right. Do I like the Twilight series? Yes. Wait, but did you say Jeffrey wants to go live with me? Add Jeffrey? How? How do I do that? I need some help. <laughs> I gotta figure this out. All right, all right. I need some help. <laughs> if I could, I'm gonna pause this and then I'm gonna go and call somebody that knows how to help me do this. Um. Okay. So.